Hello viewers, welcome to this video lecture series on machine learning. I shall be discussing on challenges in machine learning in this session. Some of the challenges in machine learning, one is problems. So the heading is problems. Let me tell you what exactly you mean by problems. Then you have the huge data, the second challenge. The third one is high computation power. Fourth one is complexity of the algorithm. These are the four main challenges in machine learning. Now here, the first one is problems. The first sentence I have written here is computers cannot solve ill-posed problems. So what is ill-posed problem? Can a model for this test data be multiplication? Uh, this is the input data that is fed to the algorithm for the training purpose, wherein there are two numbers here, 1, 1, 2, 1, okay, 3, comma 1, 4, comma 1, 5, comma 1. And also in the training, the dependent variable y, the values are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. But when you look at this data, it is simply multiplication because we, we can check here 1 multiplied by 1, you are getting 1, 2 multiplied by 2, you are getting 2, 3 multiplied by 1, 3, 4 into 1, 4, 5 into 1, 5. So this is simply multiplication. There are 3 functions actually that fit the data. This means that the problem is ill posed. More and more data is needed in order to solve this. So I'll just read out here first, computers cannot solve is ill posed problem. Can a model for this test data be multiplication? That is y equal to x multiplied by x2. It is true. But is equally true y may be y equal to x divided by 2 or y equal to x1 to the power of x2. There are three functions that fit. This means that the problem is ill posed. More examples are needed to solve this. So these are the three different functions that can fit the data. How is it possible? Let me just show you here with the example. So this is the function that we are expecting for the machine to carry out. But apart from this, the, so there is one more function that is also applicable for this data x1 divided by x2. If x1 is 1 here and x2 is 2, so 1 divided by 1. So even this we are getting. Apart from this, there is third function also that is applicable here and that is x1 to the power of x2. If x1 is 1, x2 is 1 then output is 1 x1 2 x2 1 output is 2 so totally three functions x1 multiplied by x2 is what we are expecting for the machine to carry out so it is 1 into 1 2 into 1 so you can check here you are getting the output value as 1 2 3 4 5 in the first case 1 2 3 4 5 in the second function and 1 2 3 4 5 in the third function so this is called as an ill post problem the next challenge is huge data huge data is the primary requirement quality data should be available this is a challenge and what is quality data quality data should be large no missing data no incorrect data most of the time when you collect a huge data for a particular task you are observing that there are some missing values in any one of the cells in the data so that problem has to get solved how it will be solved that we will see in the future sessions and no incorrect data should be available like suppose if you are collecting the employee details there you have an attribute called age so the numbers mentioned in the attributes are 25 36 the values that are mentioned for this particular column may be 25 35 38 40 suddenly you see there is one more value like 105 something like this so this is not at all a relevant value here to the age so that means that there is incorrect data here and that has to get solved. And we have the third challenge as high computation power. For big data, the computational requirement is more. Just with CPUs, we will not be able to solve it. We require graphics processing unit that is GPU, tensor processing unit that is TPU, which are required to execute the machine learning algorithms. So machine learning tasks have become complex now, resulting in time complexity and that can be solved with high computational power. Complexity of the algorithm is one more challenge here. Challenging for a machine learning professionals to design, select and evaluate optimal algorithms. There are various algorithms available. So your job is to select the most appropriate one that is suitable for you to carry out the task because you have to check that you are finally going to evaluate that particular performance. We have one more important challenge as bias and variance. Since these terms you will be able to study in detail in future sessions. But here at present I will just try to explain in simpler words. A model that fits the training data correctly but fails for the test data lacks generalization and is called as overfitting. And the model which fails for training data but has good generalization is called underfitting. In one more way you can 
say that variance is the error of the model. So overfitting and underfitting are great challenges for machine learning. The bias and variance, I'll try to explain with one more diagram. Bias and variance is the fourth type of the challenge in machine learning. So I'll just first give you the difference between bias and variance, then I'll show the explanation with the diagram. So bias, we have actually two different types in bias further, high bias and low bias. And what exactly you mean by bias is, it is the gap between the actual value of the model and the predicted value of the data. Okay, I can write here. So here variance you can define in simpler words like this. How much scattered is the predicted value with each other? These are the two different terms, bias and variance, which are used here for the performance of the model. But why it is becoming challenging is because bias can be a high bias and low bias. Variance can be a high variance and low variance. First, let us see the bias here. Bias, if it is high, what exactly you mean by high bias? Predicted value is more far than the actual value. So here in the diagram, I am showing for what high bias. But when you plot the actual value with the predicted values, I am showing here this blue color points with the predicted values and the red color point inside this is what the actual value. In high bias, what is happening is your predicted values are far from the actual value. You are this blue color dots, whatever I have plotted here is what the predicted values. They are very far from the actual value. So we say in machine learning the term as underfitting. We are experiencing underfitting. This is high bias less, and also we say it is less accurate. What about low bias? In low bias, predicted value is nearer to the actual value. You can check here the nearer, the red color dot, what you see is the actual value. All these blue dots are very near to the actual value. We say here it is accurate as well as what we are experiencing the low bias. Then we have variance. So how do you define variance? How much scattered is the predicted value with each other? In variance also we can experience high variance, we can experience low variance. How do you define high variance? Group of predicted values scattered with each other. In uh, machine learning terms we call it as overfitting. We are experiencing overfitting. So you can check here. Uh, this is the actual value whereas all these blue dots blue points are the predicted values they are scattered means they are far from each other also low variance is what group of predicted values does not scatter with each other the desired parameters of the model is what low bias and low variance see you can check here there are four different uh, combinations one is low bias and low variance in low bias is what all the predicted values are nearer to the actual values and also in this particular example you can see low variance group of all predicted values do not scatter with each other you can see here they are very close to each other this is the diagram wherein you can see low bias and low variance what about the second diagram in the second diagram you can see low bias is there what do you mean by low bias predicted value is nearer to the actual value Predicted values are nearer to the actual value, but high variance is there here. High variance is group of predicted values are scattered with each other. One is here, one is here. So at all different places, you can see the points. Whereas in the third diagram, you can see that you are experiencing high bias. All the predicted values you can check here are very far from the actual value, but you are seeing low variance. That means the predicted values are not scattered, but they are very close to each other. And in the fourth diagram, what you are experiencing? High bias and high variance. High bias, you are going to experience that the predicted value is very far from the actual value. Also, you are experiencing high variance. High variance is group of all predicted values are scattered with each other. So these are the four different possibilities. The one which we require for the model for high performance is low bias and low variance. So these are the different challenges in machine learning. Because the problems, huge data, high computational power, complexity of the algorithm and bias and variance. So hope you find this information useful. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye bye and take care.